This video is brought to you in part by Bootsik FDB for all your miniature and painting needs. And today we're going to see if we can slap chop a fireplace and get it painted up. That's right miniature painting fans, today we're going to slap chop a fireplace uh, that was primed in black and then put a grey on and then a white on top of that as well. Uh, just to see if uh, we can get a nice detailed look on this fireplace without too much work. Of course, some people say that you don't need to do the gray part of a slap chop anymore. You can just do the black and then the white directly. I still appreciate having the gray because sometimes the gray, you force it in a little bit more in areas that you want the white. So you're going to get a really big transition between dark and light of the black, the gray and the white. And this is the fireplace from Hero Quest, by the way. So we're starting off with a bit of burnished red. Uh, this is a Speed Paint 2.0. We're doing like a uh, brownish red uh, brick around the whole um, fireplace area. And now I've seen some other fireplaces painted out there to do the whole uh, OSL, so the object source, source lighting from the fire itself. I could have done it. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to yet. I'm still not sure. I might do it eventually. Uh, but as you can see, the speed paints on this does an amazing job of getting all the highlights done. Gravelord Grey now for the base stones on the bottom of the fireplace itself, just to, you know, make it look more realistic. Some dark wood now for all those uh, pieces of wood that are on fire. Uh, some brownish decay, or sorry, some desolate brown. I thought it was a brownish decay I was putting on there, but no, it's desolate brown, putting us on the actual fireplace itself. What's kind of cool is it kind of gives it this old look to it. Uh, kind of look like it's been there for a while. Maybe all the soot has gotten to it from all the smoke and all that stuff as well. And then we're using some talus bronze. Talos bronze? Talus? Talos? I don't know. I don't remember how to say that one. Uh, just for the frame of that picture on there, we're going to do something really cool with that picture as well later on. We're going to do also these like little statues around the fireplace. Uh, just to make them pop a little bit more, make them a little old. I could have put a little bit of chipping effect on them as well with some silver paint, but I just didn't. But you can do that as well if you want. Zaylot Yellow now for the base of the fire, where the brightest will be and the hottest. Then some Fire Giant Orange for the top parts. And as you can see, there's still some black left on the top of those, so it really makes the whole thing uh, look like it's, you know, lit up. Uh, so now we're using some uh, Green Stuff World Surface Gloss Primer. Uh, usually you use this in an airbrush, but because I'm just doing a certain area, I'm putting this on because the next stuff, which is Green Stuff World's Color Shift Metals, Storm Surge Green, uh, works best over a black um, glossy paint. Now, I'm only putting one coat. Normally you could put two coats, and normally you put this in an airbrush to get an even distribution, but look at that. It looks kind of like gruesome, ugly, kind of like something was there in the picture you know so anyways there you have it folks the fireplace from hero quest let me know down in the comments if you want to see more furniture painted up like this uh some slap chop method and if you're enjoying these videos hit that like button and we'll see you all in the next one